There's a lot of exciting news happening in the tech industry right now. Meta just launched Threads to compete with Twitter, and Google is working on Bard AI to take over ChatGPT. So my student working for tier one companies and hybrid manager of tech companies, they told me seven words that is going to impact significantly when and how big tech companies want to hire again. Stay until the end of this video, we are sharing with you the insider secret how to prepare for the surge of big tech hiring again. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director product featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you're interested in product management course, go to pmaccelerator.io to learn more. In this channel, we cover tech trends and product management knowledge. If you find the free training valuable, make sure to like and subscribe. This is the only way YouTube algorithm will recognize me. Lots of candidates complain that there's no jobs out there and it's very competitive. They cannot land a job at all. However, the job market actually started to warm up and the entire job market at over 200,000 jobs in last month. And if you go to LinkedIn, you can see lots of people still landing jobs every single day. So you're very confused how other people got opportunities, but you didn't. Now, let me share with you the indication of how tech companies are having candidates right now. First of all, recruiters such as Meta and Google recruiters like to outreach to candidates on their own. For example, we have seen being outreached by Google recruiters in May because she used to interview at Google a year ago. Now Google starts to slowly hire again and currently we have another student interviewed with Google. But if you search online, there are not that many product manager jobs in Google right now was because they secretly recruit certain prioritized positions without making it so public so that they can maintain the talent pool. The second indication of tech hiring again is the layoff news. And actually, if you see the chart again and there are fewer companies announced layoffs and fewer employees got layoffs right now. And the most important factor is the product. For example, Meta just launched Threads to compete with Twitter. This is crazy. And the app already received over 100 million downloads over five years. By the way, if you follow me on Threads right here, it's pretty fun. And since Meta launched Threads and the crazy things happened, the number of product management related job opening on Meta doubled. Yes, I was right, double. Right now, if you go to Meta's hiring website, and all of a sudden you see a surge of number of job openings on the website. If you put in a keywords, product manager, you can see there's over 400 related jobs to product management. And the company also publicly is saying that they're going to increase hiring in the later of the year. But all those are public news regarding where things are going off the market. Now, to verify all the indication of tech hiring again, I talked to my students and recruiters working for those tier one companies. Here is what I got. Some insider secrets. They taught me the seven words and actually leading to when an indication tech company is about to hire again very quickly. It is stock price compared with the SP500. When all the big tech com companies like Google, Amazon, Apple start to lay off lots of employees back in January and insider the company, their board, uh, higher up people already secretly made announcement and decision that they are going to reevaluate the hiring information based on the stock price of these companies. And each company has a unique strike price. Once the stock price increases a certain level, they are going to hire again. Now, if you look up on all the price of these companies right now, actually Meta stock price went up significantly compared with November. That's when last November, US government started to penalize TikTok and people start to move over all the social media interest into Meta and now they hire threats again with so many engagement potential to own the entire social media market. That's why when you see the stock price of Meta went straight up like crazy. Now, if you compare the top tier tech companies with SP500, the top tier company stock price grew by 53% since January this year compared with SP500 only grew by 11%. So therefore, this is the strong indication they're about to hire again with a strong, unique wave of this industry. So therefore, my prediction is that they're going to increase hiring in August and September and gradually double and triple the hiring again and again, all months over months. This is especially true for the entry-level product manager positions in those uh, tech companies, and all of those will start to hire around August. Now, how to prepare for the surge of big tech hiring? Uh, here are the top three tips I want all of you guys to implement right away so that you're not going to miss the boat. Number one, you should start a network with people inside your network in those target companies and continue to network with 
、uh, recruiters who used to talk to you a year ago. Maybe you got rejected by Google, Meta, Amazon. Now should reach out again. Whoever is still staying with the company, once they have a new opening, you will be the first person who get the first dip because this is crazy true. And I have a student, and he land a job in Amazon. Guess how he land a job? He constantly talking to. The hiring managers, product managers, and recruiters in Amazon. Even if they say, "Hey, we don't have any job openings. We are not hiring again. No, there's nothing." But whenever there's one job openings out there, they immediately reach out to my student. That's how he land his first product manager job in Amazon. And guess what? All these companies hiring unique key functions. Not all the department, but unique key functions. They start hire again for the strategic positions. Number two is continue upscaling yourself. If you watch my free mock interview on my YouTube live. You can tell somebody even have ten years product management experience, and it was so bad when he went into product design, product metrics interview. So therefore, I recommend all of you guys to start practice product design, product metrics interview, and product strategy interview because it takes a really long time to upscale yourself and get into the framework to be able to crack the interview questions within forty five minutes. I have a playlist of product manager interview questions and answers right here. I want all of you guys to go there right now so that you can start upscaling yourself immediately. The third step is. Getting your killer product manager resume ready, because if you directly go out to see all the resumes on the market right now, and it's not because companies are not hiring, was because lots of people's resume is really, 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 really bad. If you go to my YouTube live, you can see many different live resume review I did with other people for free. It was really bad, and maybe only one of those ten resumes will be good enough、uh, to be qualified for interview. So therefore, I highly recommend all of you guys to really sincere. Figure out the right keywords you can put on your resume, and also write methodology. Talk about your past experience related to product management, and, and go to this website to download the Killer Product Manager Resume Template that has been used by over 9,000 product managers. I guarantee you, if you implement it correctly, your interview success rate will increase significantly. Do you have any insider secret regarding the hiring news right now? And please comment below. I love to hear from all of you guys. Mastering the recruiting timing is very critical and important. If you miss the timing, regardless the entry level or direct level, you're going to Miss the opportunity significantly. So check out this video where I talk about the important timing for all levels of product managers, from entry level to directors. Like and subscribe, and see my next video right here.